Hello again, and welcome back to a brand new commentary. Uh, today's commentary is actually going to be about some recent events that have just got me thinking about past events, and I think you know what I'm talking about. Uh, and if you're sensitive to these subjects or just don't want to hear about it, uh, I suggest you click off the video now. Now, I'm not going to give any sort of political like opinion on this or whatever. Like I've always tried and will continue to keep my politics away from YouTube and anything like that. Like it's just nobody else's business to be honest. And that's just how I've always looked at politics. Uh, mainly I'm just gonna be talking about like my feelings and like how I felt with the recent events. So again, if you're sensitive to the subject of like mass shootings and stuff like that, and you don't want to hear about it or you don't feel comfortable listening to it, uh, I suggest you click off the video now. Anyways, I uh, hope in light of everything that's happened, you're having a good day. And uh, yeah, I just kind of wanted to talk about it because it is a serious subject. And again, I'm not going to get political on you, but um, you know, I just kind of wanted to talk about it because it bothered me, you know, and it bothered a lot of people. It, it would bother any normal person to hear about these things, you know, and there, there's been so many of them in recent years that it's like mind boggling that this is still a problem, you know, and um, you know, there, there's a lot of things to be said about it. And I'm really just going to talk about like how I feel about it and how it's made me feel over the years, because I've lived through quite a few of them. You know, and most of these events have happened, you know, within my lifetime. These things have been happening at like such a rapid rate that it's 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 pretty terrifying, to be honest, um, for anybody. And it is horrible to hear about these things and it can really fuck with you, you know, and, and, and it does. It, it fucks with me almost on a daily basis, you know. Uh, going back to the first one I remember was when the Dark Knight movie came out, you know, the Batman, the Dark Knight. Um, there was somebody who dressed up as the Joker and, and shot up a movie theater and, you know, it was horrible and it was tragic. And I was pretty young when this happened. I would say I was a teenager, a young teenager. Um, but even so, I mean, to this day, you know, that was that had to be more than 10 years ago. And uh, it's still to this day when I go into movie theater, I'm constantly looking over my shoulder. You know, like I constantly have it in the back of my mind. Like, is some dude going to come running through that door right now? You know, and it's made uh, the movie theater almost you know, like unenjoyable, you know, and I'm, I'm not saying this to be like, oh, poor me, because obviously, like, I was never in that situation. And, you know, it, I feel bad for the people who were there that day or anything like it. You know, I'm, I'm not trying to get sympathetic. Like, that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm sure you understand what I mean. You know, it's just that's just how it made me feel. You know, like now when I go to the movies, you know, it's just it's weird. You know, I, I constantly have this feeling where I have to look over my shoulder and think like, you know, again, like somebody could come through that door any minute. It's always on my mind, you know, and then I remember the, uh, the, you know, the concert one, the, the Las Vegas shooting and, you know, that, that there, I mean, I'm skipping a bunch of, there, there are a lot of these things that have happened. I mean, Columbine, there's you know, all these sorts of school and public event things that have happened. Um, and it's, you know, I'm just basically talking about the ones that really stick out of my mind. So don't think I'm skipping over them or they're less important than the other ones. I'm just talking about the ones that mean the most to me as far as like the most impactful ones on my life personally. Um, but the Las Vegas one specifically again, because it was at a concert, you know, and I, almost to this day, I haven't really been to a concert because of it, you know, because it was such a weird thing, you know, and, and it's still pretty unexplained that whole event. And it, it's just like, you know it made me think about it. You know, now when I, when I do the rare occasion, I do go to a concert with my friends or family or whatever. And, you know, I'm constantly thinking like, is something going to happen? You know, and that, that's just how these things go. You know, you, it leaves you with this weird feeling of like fear of this thing that should be completely unrational. Like, why would this, why would anybody ever do that? You know? Um, but people do do it and it's fucking scary, you know? And when it comes to the recent ones, obviously, you know, I'm, I'm not going to, I don't want to get too specific, but like the, the, you know, the supermarket one, for example, you know, I live alone. I go food shopping a lot by myself and constantly now when I go food shopping, I'm constantly on edge and I, I feel like, you know, something's going to happen. And, and I know I'm repeating myself at this point, but I'm just trying to get to the broader point that, you know, these things have left these very, very large like psychological impacts on me. And I think a lot of people, I, I'm not the only one I've asked many, many people and they have a lot of the you know, same things to say, you know, when they go to a movie theater, or they go to a concert or a supermarket or, you know, when they're in class at college, you know, th these are the things that, that go through people's mind now because of these horrific things that have happened. And, um, you know, my thoughts and prayers go out to the families of all these people over the years who've been affected by this and, you know, who've been, who have lost their lives tragically to these horrific events. And I truly can't imagine being in their position because I'm in my position and it's affected me, you know, and I'm hundreds of miles away. And, you know, these things happened years ago and I don't know anybody personally. I don't, I don't know anything about it. And it still had an effect on me. So I can't imagine what these people go through and people who were, you know, there for these events that survived. You know, I, I, I seriously can't imagine and my heart goes out to you. Um, and again, I'm not trying to belittle you with my little woe is me problems. You know, I'm just 
I'm just saying th these things did have an effect on, I think a lot of people, and I think a lot of people are kind of feel weird talking about it. And that's kind of what this always, you know, this channel has always been is talking about things that people find weird talking about, like, m you know, mental health things or personal problems. And just, I've always been kind of really like filterless on this channel and just kind of said whatever was on my mind. And obviously in light of all these tragic events, this is what's been on my mind. And, you know, as I mentioned, these things have crossed my mind many times over the years because of these events. And, you know, I shouldn't have to fear these things when I go food shopping or go to the movies with my friends or, you know, go anywhere. You know, there are a lot of people, again, that I believe are like me that kind of always have these these thoughts going on when they're in certain situations or just going about their normal life. It, it's scary, man. And I, I, don't, I don't know how, um, you know, I don't I don't understand how these things still happen. Um, and I, again, I don't want to get political or anything, but I will say that there absolutely has to be something that needs to be done about this because, you know, I mean, I don't know what it is. I'm not a politician. I've, I'm not the smartest person in the world. I have no idea what the correct answer. I don't think anybody really does, you know, what the correct answer to this is, but there has to be something, you know, I think the fighting and the bickering and this and that, and he, she said this, he said that, you know, it, it doesn't help anybody. You know, these things are still happening every day and, you know, we have people fighting about, you know, one end or the other every day about the same thing. And I think you, you would think I should say that this is a subject most people can kind of get together on and be like, yeah, we need to figure out like a better way to deal with this and a better way to prevent this. You know, again, I, I'm not going to try to get too political on you. That's not really political. It's just kind of a, I think at this point, a general opinion of like the public, like somebody needs to do deal with this, you know, somebody needs to make sure this stops happening. And again, I don't think anybody truly knows how to the right way to go about this is, but I think uh, we could probably put our heads together and stop arguing and, you know, figure something out. At least that's what I would think. Uh, but again, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we we're just going to fight about this for eternity um, and we'll never get anything done. These tragic things will keep happening, but I think something for sure needs to be done. And again, my heart goes out to any of the families of the people that were lost or, you know, the survivors, stuff like that. It's just, I can't imagine being in your shoes. Again, I'm hundreds of miles away, thousands even for some of these things. And some of them are before my lifetime when I was a kid. I have no connection to these people. And I am genuinely psychologically affected by these, you know. And I feel like I'm constantly looking over my shoulder. And I, I can't even imagine being in your shoes. And I really do feel for you. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Again, I'm, I apologize for the darker video. Um, I really just wanted to get this off my chest because, again, I think this is just on everybody's mind. And yeah. Anyways, uh, hope you have a good day, and uh, I'll be back soon with a new upload. Peace.